So it's been a while. When we last left off on Higurashi, we were getting suckered into a baseball game. While, uh... We thought we were be getting sucked into a backyard brawl. So we kind of took a golf club with us. Let's go with Keiichi. And there's the ace pitcher, Kameda-kun. It's a real battle, all right. All right. <clears throat> Suicide attack? <clears throat> you mean she... <laughs> she leaned into a pitch? to get a free walk. Yeah. That's the impression I'm getting. And I hear suicide attack in baseball. Unless you mean a sacrifice attack. A sacrifice place in baseball. But not suicide. Jeez. Her plan wasn't baseball-like, I think. Was it now? Did she just go and try and, uh, spear Kameda-kun? Off the mound. <clears throat> Fight baseball-like to the finish. Oh, boy. <coughs> Oh, baseball-like. I get it. Baseball-ish. Oh. <laughs> we just don't dance around it. What was your move? Are we ever going to find that out? The trap master. Yes, there we go. All right. So, what's your trap idea? <laughs> well, this looks like a very narrow margin. So, why are we here? <clears throat> if we're not even gonna... And this is... <clears throat> oh, okay. Well... It's better than just hearing all this and standing and watching st stuff happen. <clears throat> Why aren't they urging us to get back in into the game and get the game going again? I mean, Kamitakun sure is doing a lot of warming up. He's got to be ready to play by now. And according to what I've been reading, he 
actually in the game already, so he should be war. He should be loose. Why isn't the other team urging us to <laughs> keep playing? <clears throat> that suicidal thing. I really want to know what that suicidal thing was. Okay, so we are going in. <laughs> We're going to bat with our golf club. Pitching wedge. We'll be right back with more Higurashi. Alright, I'll point in this interlude, but what's the plan? Hmm. To go to the bathroom? Now we're going to compare penis sizes. And he's going to be so ashamed that he forfeits the game. in the bathroom. Is that really what's going to happen now? And then we're going to lock him in? <sighs> oh, sound praise. Thank you, Mion. Whoa. What ability does my Bara Senpai have? He burns things. Why are we... What kind of question? Hmm. 
whoop. I spin my body three times, three and a half times. Did he just fucking twirl up to him? <laughs> Woo! What would be worth giving up victory? He will twirl all around you. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> really? What? <laughs> I guess if you're an athlete, you should be ashamed about that. Oh, of course, the Sonozaki owns it. What don't they own? I have a feeling I know where this might be going now. <laughs> if we're mirroring generally the timeline and events of the past arcs, maybe we're gonna offer him a ticket to the the sweet tasting at Angel Mort. <laughs> what, what is even <laughs> what the <laughs> All men are perverts, right? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Put there. There are things I should orgasm at the thought of. Oh my god! That... Oh my god! Yes, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, translator. Thank you, game. Uh. No! No one has! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> of course, that's going to be... <laughs> so, to recap so far, Keiichi is simultaneously philosophizing and perving out over desserts. It's both horrifying and incredible. What the hell? Now I can understand why Kameda Kun's ashamed of this. He really should be. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> because all men are perverts, according to Keiichi Maibara. Accept our world together. <laughs> In the world. <laughs> the thing I don't understand about this is that he's admitted this in a magazine interview, right? So why is it still like his painful secret if he's admitted it to the public that he perves out over desserts? <laughs> as as he promptly sets his real name you can call me Yay! What a code name. Of course, yes. Of course, it's no problem. All kinds of del delicious desserts. And turning desserts into anime girls. Yeah. Oh! And now all we're to assume that they've planned out a series of spots here. Yeah. <laughs> the true value of that mysterious guy. He shares his... Does that mean we'll have to see more of that... his perversion?
What? <laughs> It'll be a great loss for baseball. <laughs> we'll have to stop the press. We didn't know he existed until ten minutes ago. And now we're going to have a retirement ceremony for him. Full count. Uh, <laughs> so it's time. Keiichi at the back. Because, yeah, even if we... Even if we do go over in this game, we still have to put him... There's no way he's just gonna... Job out for us. <laughs> so, how's Sadako going to win the game? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. So, I forget, do we have anyone on base besides Keiichi? With thee, my bar Keiichi, the baseball legend. Hmm. Of course, that's how it's been scripted. <laughs> Oh my god. Bromance! So what's Sadako's trap? The trap is that she's the real baseball star! Queen of the Diamond! Oh! Yes, you do. You need to run too, Keiichi. God damn, Sadako. You need to run, Keiichi.
Shocking. Fire our work here. Good job planning those spots. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I gotta give him credit for that. Oh, that would be like the ultimate. None could stand in their way. Oh, that's the umpire. Why does the umpire get a tox right? Money player! Yep. <laughs> yeah. Buddha! I don't remember the promise. What was the promise? Oh, yeah. There, there. Head bat. <laughs> yep, there's the head bat. Aww. So he's the manager of the Namizawa fighters. Not only the barbecue party. <laughs> Have Keiji and Sadako pulling shenanigans all the time to win their games. And then Vince McMahon books it. Yeah. Anyways, we'll think about it. So you're not Buddha. Cause we're talking about Buddha, and then you showed up here, yeah. What? Um. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he has maids. That's kind of weird. Okay, dude. Uh, 
What? <laughs> Clearly! Another me being sadical. Nice. <laughs> 